what's involved in the treatment of a macular hole? You have to carry out a procedure called a vitrectomy. And in a vitrectomy, three very small incisions are made into the eye. So it's a form of keyhole minimally invasive surgery. And these uh, incisions are less than one millimeter wide. And you use those to remove the vitreous gel, which is in the center or the body of the eye, and gives you access to the retina, which is like the film in a camera, uh, at the back part of the eye. You can then literally peel off the scar tissue around the hole, which then allows the hole to close. The risks of the procedure are, like with any other eye operation, the one in a thousand chance of hemorrhage or infection in the eye that's being operated upon. And patients have to regard that as the risk of losing vision in that eye. Further risk, because you're operating uh, near the retina, uh, is the uh, probably 1% risk in a three-week period post-operatively of developing a retinal detachment, which would require a further procedure to sort out. In the longer term, uh, there is a risk of uh, cataract progressing, and we estimate that approximately 20% of people who have this operation, who haven't had their cataract operated upon, will need it doing within that uh, two, two-year period post-operatively. You have to balance that up with what would happen if you don't have anything done, and that is a, a gradual loss of the central vision in the eye. This procedure has been done for macular holes for approximately 20 years, and before then, there was no available treatment. So this is a very positive way of improving vision in someone who has a macular hole.